So Sean, should we tell him? Yeah. Welcome back guys. So Sean, should we tell them? Yeah. So today we picked up a couple turkeys and not our kids. We, uh, we have no clue what the heck we're doing when it comes to turkeys, but we will learn. So let me go get the little cute things and you can tell them a little bit about what we're doing temporarily. So temporarily, cause this was a spur of the moment thing. We always wanted turkeys. Um, we didn't know we were ready for them until the opportunity arose and we had to go ahead and do it. But, um, so yeah, we got a couple turkeys. They're young, so what we're gonna do temporarily, um, we're gonna use the dog crate. It's a big dog crate. And because the holes are still too big for them to come out, our new little cutie patooties so, and we don't have names yet so if you want to put a little if you guys want to put a suggestion down in the comments awesome we'll look at them and take it into consideration so um, and again because the holes were the holes were too well. big for them they'd probably get out and things could get in we bought some chicken wire and we're going to wrap it in chicken wire just so that they can do it he's chicken yeah but we're going to get the heat shaking. lamp and and I tried to look it up. So if you know about turkeys, we don't know if they're male or female. Uh, what was that? Tom, I think, was the word for a turkey, Sean? Tom turkey. Yeah. Tom turkey. So, um, yeah, if you have any advice, if you raise turkeys, um, if you know how to tell the difference, please put it down in the comments. Educate us. We would love to know. So this definitely was not a planned buy. This was a last minute buy. Um, I know that most people would buy much more fancier stuff for this, but this is what we have on hand and this is what we're gonna utilize. And like I had said prior earlier that we will, we're gonna be building the chicken coop. So at that point, we're gonna build something for the turkeys as well. So we have the chicken wire all zip tied to the dog cage. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to suspend the water and the food up off the ground a little bit to try to keep it clean so we don't have to clean it out every other two hours. <laughs> It's 
so I think I got a little too much hay. I think so. Yeah. But that's okay. We can always use it somewhere else. about the heat lamp so even though we're getting really nice beautiful 60s and 70s in the day at night time it can get a little cold and I'm hearing like March end of March April um, can get really cold have snow whatever so we're putting in a heat lamp just to keep them a little warm and that way we don't have to worry about it. Um, it's up high enough so it doesn't catch the hay. Right, it's up high enough. And do we have to put like a tarp or something around that? If it, if it does get to the point where it's going to be down, you know, real cold, cold, you know, cold, cold wrap a tarp or rain, we'll cover it for rain or whatever just to keep it dry. Again, this is a temporary, very temporary. Yeah. Just until the weekend where we can we're not going to guarantee it would be this weekend for this project but uh because sean does work through the week so um we try to get everything done when he isn't working and on the weekends we, we try to utilize everything this wire is what wrapped the chicken wire so as i took it off i save it because i can use it for other little odds and ends things that i need to do i like to wrap up and tie up the water bin or tie up to make sure that the heat lamp doesn't fall off utilize as much as you can just exactly how much should i take out I didn't know. The chicken wire is not only going to help keep them in, but it's going to help keep predators out from grabbing them. Uh, we have a lot of raccoons and possums. Bobcat. Uh, Bobcat, they're all coming out. Fox. Now that the war weather's getting warmer, so. We don't want we don't need them reaching in and trying to grab the little guys. So as Andreas As Andreas finishing that up, we'll uh, be done. Yeah, where do you want to put the food? I was gonna put the food just on the other side. Okay. We probably should have got shavings. Hindsight 2020. Um, Andrea had mentioned getting the uh, the shavings, and I said, "No, we have some straw left at the house." Now looking at this, they, they're going to swim in this thing till they get a little bit bigger. But that's okay. Again, temporary. In the future, we'll get shavings to do it. What do you need me to do? Um. Pour the, the turkey feed into that. I'm thinking they're going to need a bucket or something. For what? In case this wind picks up, so it's just a little bit of shelter. A bucket for what, Sean? Sorry. Just a little bucket or a box or something. Oh, to go hide in? Yeah. Hey guys. Okay, so um, when I empty out this next coffee can we have what we did in florida for our chickens till we got a different feeder we put the lid the little plastic lid on the top of that i'm gonna do that when i get the extra one um it is kind of chilly out i may um yeah well the winds get kind of cold but the there you have it Their water is a little closed down, but I guess they have to have it. Of 
hopefully I didn't bounce you guys around too much. The wind is really picking up here. So I am going to go grab a, uh, a, a, a tarp, or, a tarp, a tarp or something and just cover them up to keep them warm and we'll get everything going and the heat lamp going for them so that they'll be nice and warm. So, but yeah. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.